Hi, in this video, we're going to work out this problem. Let's just go ahead and do it, solution. So this problem has uh, a step that's a little bit tricky that I think uh, might cause problems. This problem would be much harder if there was a minus infinity, and we'll talk about how that would work at the end of this video. But let's just go ahead and do it with infinity. So the first thing we're going to do is basically multiply by one in a clever way. So this is nine x to the sixth minus x over x cubed plus one. And basically we want to clean this up. So in order to um, clean up the square root, we need to multiply by something. So I'm gonna multiply by one over the square root of x to the sixth, because we wanna combine this with this square root. But you can't just do that, right? You have to multiply by one. So here I'm gonna write one over x cubed. And this is actually equal to one. These cancel because these are actually the same. And the reason is this, this is the part that people might struggle with. Um, since um, in general, if you have the square root of u squared, that's equal to the absolute value of u, which is u if u is greater than or equal to zero and minus u if u is less than zero. So in this particular case, it's not u, it's x cubed. Um, so if you have x to the sixth, that's the square root of x cubed squared. And so according to this formula, that's the absolute value of x cubed. And that's going to be equal to x cubed because x cubed is greater than or equal to zero since x is approaching infinity. Okay, so this is, this is the key in this problem right here. If x was approaching negative infinity, you would have a minus x cubed here. So you would actually have a minus here, okay? Um, just really, really subtle. So really, it requires a strong command of the definition of absolute value. Let's just keep going. This is the limit as x approaches infinity. So now we can combine these. So this is, I'll show, I'll do some steps here. over and then on the bottom, let's just go ahead and distribute this. It'll be x cubed over x cubed plus one over x cubed. Now we can combine these square roots. x approaches infinity. So here we can combine these. This will be nine x to the sixth minus x over x to the sixth over one plus x cubed. And now you can break this up. 9x to the 6th over x to the 6th is just 9, minus x over x to the 6th is 1 over x to the 5th. And then here we have 1 plus uh, uh, 1 over x cubed. As x approaches infinity, this approaches 0, and this approaches 0, so you get the square root of 9 over 1, which is just 3. If instead, if instead it had been um, negative infinity, what would happen is you would get a negative here, let's think about it, Okay, and then you would get a negative here and a negative here. And this would be a negative and this would be a negative. Okay, and this would be a negative. And then so you would just end up with negative three instead. So um, interesting problem because um, I feel like people would have a hard time with this if it was a negative infinity. So just something that comes up a lot, just really important to know uh, the definition of absolute value. Good luck.